All right, Lou, did you hear the rumours about the third Spider-Man film in the MCU? I've heard, yeah, there's a new one coming. There's a new one coming with Tom Holland's Spider. I haven't really looked too much into it, but I know it's coming. Well, Lou, they're adding Doctor Strange, yeah. Yeah, I saw that, I saw yeah. that. And they're adding the other Sony Spider-Mans as well, apparently. Well, more like Tobey Maguire. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember yeah. what Andrew Garfield, but Tobey Maguire's going to be in Yeah, it. apparently so, yeah. That's the rumour. That's That'll be rumor. interesting to see yeah. how they do that Spider-Verse on live action after the animated um, film recently. Yeah, I know. That would, that would be sick, actually. I think that'll be so yeah. cool. And it's a good way to reminisce over the Raimi Spider-Man as well. This was our first time seeing Spider-Man on the big screen. Yes, it was. Yeah, so why else wouldn't we do this video about the top five facts about Raimi Spider-Man? I'm interested to see what you took up here, Dil, because I like the Raimi Spider-Man. Some of the film, when you watch it back, it's a bit dated, but yeah. the second film anyway is still one of my favourite superhero films. So I'm yeah. very interested to see what facts you have for us today. And like in previous videos that we saw these top five Facts, the other person will be rating the other person's fat still. So you did Wolverine last time. Yeah. I am here to rate your Raimi Spider-Man fat still. Yeah, um, don't worry. I've got some good facts here. Interesting let's facts go, that you would like. Yeah, let's go. So my first fact is that Columbia Pictures didn't want Tobey Maguire, Lou. They didn't want him? They didn't want him at all, yeah. Why not? But while we're, we're casting the lead role for Peter Parker, they wanted a, a classic leading type. That's what the executives said. They wanted like, yeah. a, they were considering stars like their first pick was Leonardo DiCaprio. That was actually their first pick. Yeah. Yeah, that, was... that sounds like such a typical executive. Like, yeah, you know what? Yeah, decision. exactly. Yeah. Who's popular? Leo's popular. <laughs> Fuck it, let's go with Leo. Yeah. <laughs> But, um... So wait, what other names were there then? Was there other names there apart from Leo? Yeah, so Colin Farrell, Heath Ledger... Right. And West Colin Bentley. Farrell, yeah, I know. It's weird, isn't it? And they also they also considered um, James Franco as well. Just before oh, he was... Oh, really? Yeah, before he got the role of uh, Green Goblin, Harry Osborn. Yeah. That's interesting. I mean, again, though, some of those names, like they're such studio executive sort of names. I know. But, I mean, it's sort of... I don't know. I feel like, obviously, in hindsight, I would say Toby was the right choice, but it feels weird that they didn't want Toby Maguire for the trilogy or for the Spider Man. Yeah, no, it was actually Sam Raimi who actually begged to have Maguire in it. And after his really? yeah, and after his screen test, which I'll show in the video, that performance won them over. So really? yeah, shout out to Raimi. Damn, I mean that's the thing. When sometimes when you've got a director that's dead set yeah. on wanting this actor for their film, you just have to sometimes just think, okay. Yeah, They're exactly. the ones that's going to be working with this person 24 7. Maybe we should, you know, listen to them a little bit. Yeah. Obviously, there's a bit of money behind it, but damn, imagine. Oh, yeah. It would have been weird. I don't think Leo would have been a good Spider Man. Yeah, I don't know. I can't. Yeah. He's just, he's... I just can't see him being the superhero type. He's more of like. I don't know. I mean, he he's just. more of a drama actor. For yeah, him. like oh. he just did Titanic, didn't he? He just Around came about from... that time, yeah. yeah. Been, that's what you'd have been off that, yeah. And then off that. straight into Spider Man. It's so different. I, he, he's <laughs> never done a superhero film before, has he? No, so, he hasn't, yeah. no. Yeah. I, I, I don't think he should. I think he's so much better doing those dramas and thrillers and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm, god, god damn, thank you for Sam Raimi for, for begging to put the tone yeah. in that spot. That's a good fat deal. See? A, See? I didn't know that. I, I think you started off very well, and I'll give you a solid seven to start with. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's good. That's a good, good one. Good start. Good start. I'm interested to see yes. what you've got next. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so my second fact, Lou, is that mm -hmm. Sam Raimi wanted the perfect spider, right? He wanted a perfect right. spider for the, the spider bite scene. Yeah. What do you mean by perfect spider? There was actually spider auditions, Lou. No. Yes. <laughs> There was spider what do you auditions. Mean? Yeah. He basically said that his perfect idea for a spider was a black widow, right? And obviously right. black widows are dangerous and poisonous. Very dangerous. So they're yes. not gonna put that on to Toby Maguire's hands. Because that's just like, <laughs> like you're gonna kill him. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so they brought in an entomologist called Steve Kutcher who brought in spiders that were like similar to the Black Widow right. for the audition and Raimi picked the spider that he wanted. <laughs> what do you reckon just happened in that audition? They just had them out on like the table and he was just walking up and down. <laughs> just thinking, hmm, 
What spider yeah. shall I choose? <laughs> yeah, Toby, can I borrow your hand, please? Just putting the spider next to his hand. Oh, like, yeah, the that's the spider. Yeah. That's the spider. Oh, it looks so good on your hand. <laughs> and, yeah. That's so weird. Yeah, apparently as well, because in the film, I don't know if you remember, the spider's red and blue. Yeah. To obviously indicate, like, it's the spider that bit him that's radioactive. So they, yeah. they painted it as well. They had to well, paint the spider. Oh, that wasn't CGI. No, that was painted. they didn't use any CGI apparently because it was too, it'll make it too um, digital. So they right. had to use paint. That's crazy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Imagine what, who, who had that job? I don't know. Your job I couldn't today, find Dave, that person. Paint name. the spider. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, what is your job role in that situation? <laughs> You would have to I give me a lot of money spiders. to paint a spider. Yeah. Really? Uh, I don't mind them, but they are they are creepy. They're but... scary looking, man. No, snakes are scary looking. <laughs> if there was a snake man, I wouldn't watch it. <laughs> snake man. <laughs> <laughs> I would not watch it. But that, that is a, a gender. You, you you seem to have come back with some strong facts here because that, I, that is crazy to know that they interviewed well, auditioned different spider. I don't think they interviewed. Can you imagine <laughs> the interviewing the spider? What films? Oh, you've been working on Charlotte's Web. That's yeah, that's a good CV. That <laughs> Charlotte's Web. <laughs> <laughs> that's an interesting fact, though. I'm gonna give you a nine. I'll give oh, you a nine. Cheers, now. That's a yes. good fact. That's a good fact. I like that. So, Lou, we all know Spider-Man's an action film, right? So there's a lot of stunts, there's a lot of action scenes going on, the actors. Right. Yep. But there's one scene that took 156 takes to get right. 156? Yeah, can you guess what it is? That's just on the top of your head. Oh, it's on my head. Maybe the... Spider-Man 1, just, just a hint. It's Spider-Man 1? Yeah, Spider-Man 1. Uh, was it the one where he jumps over the Green Goblin? No, Lou. No, no. What is it? <laughs> it's the one where Peter catches MJ's lunch. You know when she slips, right? Yeah, and she catches yeah, yes. all her lunch perfectly. Yeah, that took 156 takes. Yeah, because they didn't use any CGI. So what they had to do was put glue on the tray, and Tobey Maguire had to practice catching all of the stuff perfectly on the on the tray. <laughs> Again, really? this is so insane, yeah. <laughs> Sam Raimi is just like, you have to do this correct. We're not using yeah. any CGI. Otherwise, I'm going to get Leo DiCaprio, yeah. Leo DiCaprio <laughs> yeah. in it. Yeah. Catch the fucking food, Toby. <laughs> That's crazy. They so they glued all the things on the bottom and stuff. So that ah oh. yeah yeah. So they put glue on the tray. So when he yeah. when it was obviously flying in the air, you could, it would just yeah. perfectly stay still. Yeah yeah yeah. Oh that 156 takes. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck that. If I was doing that scene and after 10 takes I didn't get it right, I would just be like, look, either change the scene or let's just CGI this bitch. Yeah, I know. That's such an I... annoying scene to get right. Fair play to Tony McGuire for doing yeah. it 156 times. Honestly, that that is some serious commitment. No, yeah, I can't think of anything. Yeah, I can't think of anything I would do. 156 <laughs> times to get right yeah I mean if it was like an insane action scene that would look so sick to nail yeah. yeah like you a Tom Cruise like... thing in Mission Impossible yeah not yeah, catching exactly. food <laughs> not catching yeah food on a fucking tray in the lunch hall like you th that's just ridiculous that yeah. they did that that many times I mean uh, I don't even know how to, what to say to that <laughs> <laughs> it's such a it's such an unnecessary thing but at the same time it's just so bizarre and interesting yeah. That's another of your facts. Is there, did you find any interviews on that or nah? <laughs> was that just dug up? I that, this was just dug up. Oh, this was just dug up, yeah. 156 times. I think that's another I think that's a is it the spiders auditioning for a role? <laughs> yeah, I mean that one's hard to beat to be fair. I think <laughs> that's an eight point five deal. Eight point five. Yeah. yeah. I'll take it's that. a very good fact. I yeah. do like that. I, I did not know that I ever these are some good facts you got trying in my way. So for my fourth fact is that Spider Man. And four was actually supposed to be released in May 6th, 2011. Oh, I see. I've heard about this in the past. Very, very vaguely. I don't know the ins and outs. I did know there was a planned film, yeah. but it sort of fell to shit. I'm sure you've got some more light on this. Yeah, I went, I went, I got into there. I, I did some digging. You've done digging. your research. Yeah, you've done did your some research. Digging. 
you done some digging. What did this digging get us? Yeah, so after the success of the third film, and even though it was meme to hell, but it, it did really yeah. well in the box office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The film just never went through development, even though right. even though Raimi was signed on and both Tobey Maguire and Kirsten was reprised right, to yeah. play their roles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the film was meant to follow the lizard and like Dylan Baker was going to come back and he was going to actually progress and transform as, into the lizard. Same as basically right. The Amazing Spider-Man. One. That's basically yeah, where they. Kurt, yeah. 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 The Kurt Connors. Yeah. Yeah. But again, Sony wanted to cram a lot of villains in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I remember hearing about. Is this is why I saw it fell apart? But yeah, go on. So joining the Lizard as the main villain, they wanted to add yeah. the Vulture and Black right. Cat. Really? Another, yeah. They wanted to do another trio of villains again. Yeah, they wanted to do another trio. But this was the annoying thing. Sony turned down Black Cat because apparently she looks too much like Catwoman and didn't want to get confused. <laughs> but and, and yeah. they, So they wanted to add Vultress, which is basically the daughter of Vulture. Right. And Right, okay. Yeah, basically uh, not, an, not a relevant villain to Spider-Man's so, comics. Right, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so Raimi, Raimi basically, he, he claimed in interviews later on saying that he was always going to go with Black Cat. Yeah. But he said, regardless, there was just too many main villains to deal with. Uh, yeah, this was the problem with Spider-Man 3. Like, yeah. They had too many villains and not enough time to develop the villains. And I don't understand why they felt like they needed to add so many more villains again when you've seen on the second yeah. film. That's no. your template. Yeah, exactly. There is your template. Yeah. You've got it in your own trilogy, for fuck's sake. I know. <laughs> like, take that film and just think about how we can tweak it and replicate it with these other villains and stuff. Because obviously Spider-Man's got a good road gallery, you know? Yeah. It's not exactly like he's short. Yeah, exactly. Use from. Yeah. Why, why the need to just keep hitting tri- <clears throat> and trios of them in each bloody film onwards? And I remember, no, I've, I do remember hearing about this and that the executives were sort of responsible for this all falling apart because yeah. there was just too much studio interference. Yeah. And this is the thing, yeah. They, uh, I'm not even surprised. That, and it, it's such a shame because it would have been interesting to continue that era of Spider-Man into I know. Like 4 and 5 and whatnot and see what would have happened. But it's, it's, such is life. Yeah, it's <laughs> annoying because they wanted um, Anne Hathaway to play Black Cat as well, which obviously she right. did amazing as Cat. That woman in Dark Dark Knight yeah. Rises. Yeah, exactly. So this was actually kind of set in stone to be a really good Spider-Man film if they didn't want to mess up. It would be interesting, yeah. 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 It's such a shame it never came to life. I think for that one, I knew parts of it. Yeah, I, that's I fair didn't enough. know much about the characters, but I knew parts of it, so I would give it a seven. Okay, yeah, that's good. Give it a seven. But yeah, it's interesting to know what villains were involved and sort yeah. of how it fell apart and hearing uh, Raimi's sort of uh, perspective on it. So, Lou, my fact number five is that at the time of release, Spider Man 3 was the most expensive film ever made. At the time of release, really? Were yeah. you in the time 2007? Yeah, 2007. Oh, spot on, Lou, spot on. Was it 2007? Yeah, I yeah, sort of remember it because I know it sort yeah. of coincided with the PS3 launch and the font. Oh, yeah. And that's how I remember yeah. that. Oh, oh <laughs> I yeah. PS3 came out in 2006, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it was like, was this like a tie in? With Sony, they love that font. I can't remember what the font was, but they loved that font, didn't they? Yeah, no, they did. <laughs> yeah. So, with a budget of 258 million, Spider Man was the most, yes, yeah, Spider Man was the most expensive film. But it only held the record for three weeks because apparently Pirates of the, Car- Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End was 300 million. But um, after some but- digging, Lou, after some digging, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> industry yeah, yeah. experts actually calculated that Sony likely spent. 350 million to make Spider-Man 3. Why? Where's the 50 come from? They basically spent the extra money on shooting in New York, reshooting right. it, expanded their production in eight um, to eight months. Right, right. And they basically created the technology for Venom and Sandman. Right, from so, scratch. Yeah, from scratch, yeah. Which is kind of crazy. Right. Technology. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah that's pretty. But yeah, that, 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 that sort of technology is not cheap. Yeah, but guess how much it costs to shoot in New York? Oh, it's not cheap. That's no. why they don't film there anymore. It comes to the UK to film shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's probably what like I don't know for a permit like ten mil or something, twenty mil. It's a million a day. A million a day. Yeah, and the reshoots were eight months. So yeah. Ooh, <laughs> that's that's, that's going to be an eye-watering bill there. Yeah, yeah. 
Damn. I mean, that's crazy that it was the most expensive film put together, and then they literally... I know you said that they, they reckon they spent more, but for that record to hold for three weeks and for Pirates to come in, they probably spent more on their reshoots and stuff. They always lie about their budgets to make it not seem yeah. as high. Yeah. But so how much did it grow still? It grossed 895 million, so it still did really well. It still paid it off, yeah, yeah. damn. But still, the production was crazy. That is a lot of money on the yeah. production. That is a serious amount of money. It's crazy that they were putting this much money into this series and then this yeah. was the last one as well. That's the I know. Thing. Yeah, that's the sad thing. Yeah. Oh, wow. I mean, that's, in, that's a, yeah, a pretty, a pretty interesting fact. I didn't realise it was one million a day to shoot. <laughs> no, that's so depressing. As a, Yeah, as a director and you have to choose New York. Like you said, that's why they don't go there anymore. They don't, it's they don't. Ridiculous. They're filming all the all for the Robert Pattinson's Batman film and all that's all being filmed in bloody Liverpool. How oh, is <laughs> like, it? Oh, that's yeah, cool. the majority of it's being filmed in Liverpool and Edinburgh because it's cheaper. Yeah, <laughs> a million a day. Damn, yeah. I can see. Oh wow, um, that's yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty interesting fact there as well. Again, I don't think you topped your Spiders auditioning deal. That was a hard one to top. It 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 was a very hard one to top. You did. You peaked too early. (laughs) I would say that that fact is probably, again, another solid seven. Seven. A solid seven, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's good. The spiders auditioning impressed me a lot. And what <laughs> yes. was the follow-up fact to that? What was your third fact? Uh, my third fact was it took um, the 156 uh, takes. takes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the, yeah, yeah. For the Those three trait. facts were very, are very interesting. I never would never, I would never have known that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you just won't look look up spider auditions. Or, no, it's just, you know, you wouldn't oh, think yeah. you wouldn't think the tray scene would take 156. Think so. I'm gonna look yeah. at that differently next time. I'm going to think to myself, poor guy. (laughs) (laughs) Poor bastard. (laughs) 